It's October 6th, 2020, and here are the top 10 most loved villagers and the top 10 most disliked villagers in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Every month, AnimalCrossingPortal.com does a crazy poll where they ask thousands of Animal Crossing fans who their favorite villagers are. And every month, this list changes in wild and unexpected ways. But when the world around you starts spinning, you will always have me, Nikachu, to make sense of it. So let's waste absolutely no time and get straight into this wacky list. Starting with the top 10 most loved villagers, and then we'll get into the top 10 disliked later in the video. So starting off at number 10, I'm sure this next villager will draw on a happy face after finding out he's in the top 10 most loved villagers. At number 10, we have the lazy cub villager, Stitches. His unique sense of humor while also being a stitched up teddy bear is both confusing and hilarious. And don't forget freaking adorable, this thing is so cute. The former king of Animal Crossing back in New Leaf has taken the back seat in Animal Crossing New Horizons, but he still has managed to stay in the top 10. It's Bob at number 9. Bob is the type of purple cat you can go out with. Like he can go out to eat, party in the club, he can crash on your couch, and then when you wake up in the morning, he's already gone with a cup of coffee in his hand. He's respectable, he's chill, and of course, a lazy villager. At number 8, we have our third lazy villager in a row, Zucker. You guys must really like villagers who hate getting out of bed, huh? What does this say about Animal Crossing's community? We are all probably lazy villagers, just like how we like them in the game. Playing video games from the comfort of our own gaming layers. Back to the tentacle at hand, it's Zucker. I mean, duh, of course this dude is one of the best. If this were the Nikachu list, he'd be by far and away the number one villager. And I even went to a Japanese restaurant to find out what a takoyaki looks like. And I did more than just look at it, but I'll end the story there because I don't want Zucker to be offended by... Okay, I ate a takoyaki, I, I admit. Okay, I love Judy. You love Judy. Your dog would probably use a Judy plush toy as a chew toy. Everyone loves Judy. So it makes sense that she's all the way here at number 7. Let's hope her ego isn't blinded by the lights and she can spend the weekend enjoying herself. Mary has had an insane rise to the top of this list. In my last video, she rose all the way to number 1 out of nowhere. No one expected, everyone looked at her and was like, what's this girl doing here? But ever since that video, she's been slowly falling down the list. There was a huge controversy associated with that list because the reason she was so high was because an Animal Crossing streamer asked all of their supporters to rank Mary at number one. And if you ask me, that's legendary. I don't have a problem with that. Mary has a lot of passion and excitement around her and she's still staying really strong down at number six. Have you ever wondered what would happen if your grandpa would be in Animal Crossing? Well, not only is he already in the game, but he's at number 5 of the most loved villagers in the game. Good job, Grandpa! It's Sherb, man! He's sweet, he's cool, and he's quickly becoming one of the most iconic Animal Crossing villagers in history. Good for you, Pops! <laughs> I love my grandpas. Number 4. The biggest wild card in this entire list. We have... Tabby? <laughs> this Garfield gone wrong design is interesting. After some research, I found out that the same thing happened to Tabby that happened with Mary. Someone made a group of people who really liked Tabby, and they all voted in mass crowds. I guess that's what happens when you have lots of passion and energy behind you. Good for you, Garfield. He's the most controversial. It's Raymond at number three. Part of me expected Raymond to be all the way down on this list. I really felt like his star started to dim a bit and the audience kind of moved on, but the audience still adores Raymond. The community is all in on Raymond. Good for him. He can probably put this down on his tax exemptions. If you watch my streams and previous ranking videos, you know that Eric is one of my favorite villagers. He's my most wanted dreamy villager. Eric is the perfect holiday season themed villager. Looking like one of Santa's dear helpers, whatever they're called, Blitzen, Donald, Joe. Anyways, I'm so happy he's all the way near the top of this list. Good for you, Eric. Marshall. Back at the number one spot after being rudely interrupted by Mary and Tabby, for a short while, Marshall is back at his crowning spot. Makes sense. He looks like the type of villager to not care about a crown, but then sneakily steal the crown when everyone's asleep. Now let's get to the bottom of the barrel. To be completely honest with you, the top 10 most disliked villagers, the ones that no one gives a vote to, I found way more exciting and entertaining than the top 10 most loved. 
And often, I like some of these villagers more than the ones that are at the top anyways. It's like gasoline. It smells bad to the majority of the people, but some people really like the smell of it. That's what I think of the top 10 most disliked villagers. They're like gasoline, baby. Okay, starting off the list of forgotten Animal Crossing villagers, it's a villager who looks the most normal to me. It's Curly. I mean, if you threw a camera in the middle of farmland in the middle of America, there is a 100% chance that the camera will find a pig that looks identical to Curly. I guess people just don't like regular old pigs. I don't know what they did to you, rolling mud too much? What can you expect? At number 9, we have Mott. And yeah, Mott is just not it. He looks like a sweet guy, the type of dude you see on Channel 4 News who just graduated college with a 4.0 and high scholars, but then he talks and yaps and yaps and acts like he is the CEO of Microsoft and NASA at the same time. And you're like, cool. Cool your jets, Mott. Cool them. Calm down. Back in the summer, I almost put Buzz as my favorite Cranky Villager and my Frankie Eagle Villager. Frankie Eagle Villager? What the heck? Favorite Eagle Villager. Now in the autumn, he has taken a major fall and is now in the bottom of the list. But now in the autumn, he has taken a major fall and is now in the bottom 10. What happened, Buzz? Was it the mean attitude? Do people not like yellowish orange color schemes? Look outside, guys. It's all yellow and orange trees. Doesn't that make you like the color scheme of Buzz a little more? I'm hurt by this placement of Buzz. I'm hurt. At number seven on the most disliked villager countdown video, we have Chops. This villager does not have the chops to be a top tier villager, plain and simple. His design is just, ew. The greasy yellow toupee and the accentuated mustache are just so off-putting and deep down disturbing. And why is he a military commander for the British in the 1700s? I mean, let's take a moment and analyze this design. What the heck is happening here? <laughs> I'm confused. Peaches being the number six most hated villager is honestly disgusting to me. This is the worst decision ever made since Oreo released hot and spicy cinnamon Oreos. Peaches deserves to be in the most loved category, not the most hated. I guess when you're so amazing and unique, like Peaches is, the harder it is to let people relate to you and get to love you. I'm sorry, Peaches. I'll vote for you in the next time. This is unacceptable. Number five, Mallory. Mallory has been floating around the bottom of this list for a couple of months now, and every video I fought for her in her defense. But it's obvious that my hard work campaigning for her is just not going anywhere, so I'll admit defeat. I'm sorry, my dear friend, Mallory Smith. That's why I imagine her last name is. Good luck out there. Good luck in the bottom five, dang. Number four is Violet. Violet being one of the most disliked villagers in the entire game is shocking and unreasonable. Violet looks like the good version of a Karen. In movies, you see devils on your shoulder and an angel. Violet would be the angel Karen, like a Suzanne. Yeah, you heard it here first, folks. Violet is a Suzanne. S-U-Z-A-N-N-E, Suzanne. A definition I think I just created. A Suzanne is the nice version of Karen who packs amazing lunches, has a positive and kind personality, brings red velvet Oreos to the family room randomly, and goes on walks with her dogs morning, noon, and night with a smile on her face and the whole world in front of her. I love Violet. Number three, Queenie. Queenie is actually one of my favorite villagers in the whole entire game, so when I found out she fell all the way down to number 395 out of 397 villagers, really hurt my feelings. I haven't left my bedroom since I found this out. I only found this out like two hours ago, and I did leave once to make a salami sandwich on whole grain bread with some chopped up tomatoes. But that was the only time I got out of bed since I found this out. Gwen being the second most hated villager in the game just doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't make sense on an Animal Crossing level. It doesn't make sense on a Penguin level. It doesn't even make sense on a Super Mario 64 level. It just doesn't make sense. I'm speechless. What was it for you? The pink eyeshadow that's just beautiful? The eyelashes that reach her cheekbones? Her forward-thinking fashion? What was it? I want to know. The most disliked villager in the entire game. A completely new number one we've never seen before. Hippo and Harry have been taking up this spot for quite a while, but it's a completely new villager this time around. It's Boyd. And I just gotta say, what are the voters thinking? 
I'm guessing the same people who put Boyd at last place are the same people who voted for D's Nuts for the President of the United States of America. And speaking of America, this is going against the Constitution. This is injustice. We need an Animal Crossing Supreme Court to repeal this bad decision. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little too deep into my political junkie persona. But seriously, Boyd? The worst villager in the entire game? Now that's a hot take. And there you have it folks, the top 10 most loved villagers and the top 10 least loved villagers all in one video. What villager shocked you? Comment down below the most shocking part and I'll be responding to your comments. And make sure to keep watching videos just like this right in front of you with the playlist that says Animal Crossing ranking videos. It's a lot of fun and we get crazy into these rankings. And make sure to subscribe, ring the bell for daily videos just like this. I'll see you guys next time and enjoy your spooktober.